Welcome to a diverse heritage of Guyanese cooking and a little twist from around the world. Here is where food and culture is rich and pure, where freshness blooms and happiness overflow. Food brings us together wherever we go. Welcome back to the channel. Look what I have here today. I have some green pigeon peas, also known as Congo peas. And I will be sharing a recipe today for this. If you want to see what it is, stay on and let's get cooking. I just measure one and a half cup of the pigeon peas. I'm going to cook this about 20 minutes in some hot water and then we will continue the process i just added my pigeon peas to the pot with hot water i'm gonna add a little bit of salt so it can cook with flavor and we're gonna cook these until they're um, nice and soft So I have all my seasoning prepared to coat this pigeon peas and rice with some amazing fried banga mary. I have here some grated carrot, flat leaf parsley, red and white onions, green onions, some crushed garlic and some maruri pepper or wiri, wiri pepper for flavor. I have the pigeon peas that I only cook about 20 minutes in some hot water because it was frozen. I have some bok choy and I have lots of fine thyme. And I'm going to be adding some fresh coconut milk to this pot. I grated half of a coconut. I'm going to wring this out to get out the milk. And we're going to start putting our pigeon peas rice together. I also have to wash my rice. So we're going to start cooking the pigeon peas and rice very soon. Look at the fresh ingredients. The best result in any dish is when you add fresh ingredients. In the pot, I have a tablespoon of coconut oil. We're going to start first of all with our onions. And we're gonna cook the onion about two minutes before we add any other ingredients. So our onion is frying up nicely. I'm gonna add the rice now to the pot. And I already washed the rice. So let's mix our rice in. I'm gonna add my salt now. We're gonna add some black pepper. Mix our salt and black pepper in. I like to add layers and layers of flavor. So now I'm going to add my thyme and I'm going in with a good portion of thyme because thyme gave a lot of flavor to this dish. The stem and everything because it has flavor as well. We're going to add our crushed garlic and maruri pepper. We're going to mix. And then we're going to start filling more flavor. So the pigeon peas is going in. And 
And pigeon peas have a lot of health benefits. And you can make stews with pigeon peas. You can make it with rice like this. You can stew it up with some chicken or any meat of your choice. Or you can also use it as a side dish. This is looking really good for me. We're gonna add our carrots in here now. And I have my grated carrots. And you can add pretty much any vegetable in this dish. The more the merrier and the rich in flavor. And it is smelling really good with the thyme and that mariwari. And it looks nice in my eyes. We're gonna add our flat leaf parsley. Or celery as we say back home. Beautiful, beautiful looking right now. And then we're gonna start adding some of the coconut milk. So I have my freshly squeezed coconut milk. And we're gonna put some more. So I already added four cups of the milk with water added and I'm putting in a fifth cup now. So we're gonna mix everything in and it's a weak night. It will stand too long in the kitchen. So I am gonna pressure this and in no time it's gonna be done. I have some bok choy. I'm gonna add it. And I have some green onions. I'm gonna add half now and then I'll add half the rest later. So we're gonna give it a good mix. And I'm gonna cover this. I think I have to put about one more cup of water. I'm gonna start my pressure cooker for 10 to 12 minutes and this is gonna be ready. So I have a few pieces of Bango Mary Philly. I already wash it and pat them dry with some paper towel. I added some green seasoning and you guys know my green seasoning is contained of green onions, garlic, thyme, um, and some maruri pepper. So, and I added some salt and black pepper. I'm just gonna mix everything in. Bango Mary is a very tender fish and it doesn't need too much to make it happy. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm just gonna start frying these to go with our pigeon peas and rice tonight. I lightly dust the bangamari fillet in flour and now I'm frying them. I can't wait because my pigeon peas rice is almost done. So our beautiful pigeon peas and vegetable rice is done. I just opened my pressure cooker. I'm gonna add the little bit of green onions I had left on the side and let's mix this up. Look at that, perfectly done. I have those thyme stem. And if you like your your um, pigeon peas and rice like scatter, this is the way. I'm gonna wait until the fish is done frying and I will be plating up very soon. So here is my beautiful pigeon peas rice with some fried bangamari filet and you can see those pigeon peas popping out everywhere. I added some carrots and some bok choy and that is no secret in this pot right now. It is piping hot. I can't wait to let you guys know how everything tastes. Big shout out to my sister and my brother-in-law because they cook this meal a lot. So let me plate up. I will reveal the taste for this right after so before i do the taste test our popular brother riza made some amazing pastry he followed my recipe and this is his success story and i hope he have enough for all of us they look delicious so here is that beautiful pigeon peas rice my husband made our signature salad with some walnuts some blueberries avocado 
and I have here some extra avocado and our fried bangamary fish. And you know, I gotta top it off with some pepper sauce. So I'm gonna dive in for some of that pepper sauce. And my kids already had this and they said it tastes amazing. So let me taste for you guys. And this is your mouthful. Mm. Somebody pinch me. It is really, really delicious. Creamy with the coconut milk. And every bite, you can bite into one of those pigeon peas. Such a delicious with that pepper. My eyes open bigger, so I have to take another mouthful. Mm -mm -mm. And I have the perfect salad here to go with it. I made my homemade dressing as well. And you gotta have this kind of food with a nice piece of fried fish. So I'm gonna dive in there for my fried fish and pepper sauce. Cheers, Bake. I know you like your fried fish with some bread and pepper, so I'm gonna take a piece for you. Amazing. So guys, looking at this plate alone, you can see it's a very delicious plate with a variety of some very nutritious things. I'm gonna enjoy this plate tonight. It didn't take long time to prepare because I pressured the rice and everything. And I just had to fry the fish while Hobby was making the salad. So I wanna say to you guys, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel and you haven't subscribed yet, I hope you'll consider subscribing. Remember, we still have our collaboration going. Tomorrow is Nikki's and family. Saturday will be being Rocky. We have two more to go. If you miss any of the four that pass, please check them out. It was, um, I started it out on Monday, then followed by Caribbean Docs and Ash from Cooking with Ash and um, Hook and Cook Ray Life was today so if you miss any please check it out they're amazing amazing some amazing episode so until then you guys stay safe bye for now love you guys